asked him how they were, how his little girls were, and he looked at me and said, we must trust in God now. Is that right? Trust in God. I love that. I love when people say that shit. Have you turned on the TV lately? Oh, you haven't. You don't believe in TV. Well, isn't that good for you? Let me fill you in. Shit like this happens every day. Shit that is this sick and more happens every fucking day. And the scary thing is, as mortified as I am by my husband's actions, the man I swore in front of all my family and friends to go through life is one. That's disgusting. And he wasn't a bad guy. Okay, he wasn't the devil. He just couldn't keep his darkness down anymore. And it ate him. It ate him. It ate those poor little girls. And now it's eating me. And you, you can you can pull your hat down and say that's evil, but the truth is that's all of us. Okay, that's the world. We're all just a few bad days from sicko. And that's not Satan. That's the truth. It lives in me, and yes, it lives in you. And if you're God, man and it's so fucking great. Amish school. Then where was he? Open fire. Where was your God when my husband took three guns, KY jelly, and plastic ties, and drove over to Skull Road? You know, you show up here and try to make nice with the sicko's wife. Well, now you know. Now you see what I am. You can leave. Honest people putting food in my fridge. That, that poor girl at the store tried to help me, and I was such a fucking bitch to her. I wanted to rip my skin off. I said, you can get out! And then, right then, he looks at me. He looks right at me with his weird beard and his blue eyes and <coughs> there, right there, right in between his eyebrows is a word. One word. And he pushes that word into my brain. <laughs> 